Welcome back in to another week of the League Weekly Series. We hope everyone enjoyed a nice weekend off from events, but we are not done yet. Coming up this weekend is the final weekend for teams to compete and earn points to Season 2 of the League by Varsity All-Star presented by Corksicle. There is one more 600-point event and a few more 500-point events. So let's see the teams that are competing to be crowned League Champions. Well, the season is coming down to the wire here, and pretty soon we're going to find out who all of the league region champions are, as well as our first ever League Six champions. But before we get to that, how about a quick refresher about what all these league winners are going to win this season? Yeah, there will be three different divisions within the league that will be recognized for these cash prizes, starting off with the regional race. Those regional winners, first through third place, will be taking home cash prizes, individual banners, and team banners but those first place winners taking home three grand as well as a sapphire pendants. And we also have the National League champions. This is the team with the most overall cumulative points, not capped at all in both D1 and D2. They're gonna earn a $5,000 cash prize as well as the iconic league trophy that you see behind us right here. It is the inaugural year of the League Six, which means they're gonna have their own cash prizes sponsored by Varsity All-Star Fashions. First through fifth place winners will be receiving those prizes, and those first place winners will be receiving $10,000. Super awesome. We can't wait to find out who these winners are, and we're so excited. We're going to be finding out here soon. But until then, we still have to wait one more weekend, see those teams that earn those final points that might be able to make a jump on the leaderboard. As season two of the League by Varsity All-Star comes down to the wire here, we want to call your attention to a few key races we're keeping an eye on this weekend. And we also want to call out an easy way to take a look at the leaderboard in these last few days. A lot of times we look at the leaderboard and there's just a whole bunch of numbers, but what to specifically look out for, a lot of these teams already have those six events, because remember, it's only your top six events counted for this regional race, but there's some teams a little bit lower in the rankings that only have five events. Those are the teams you want to watch out for because they can make a big jump by earning those full amount of points. Even some teams with six events, they can make a big jump as well by replacing some of their lower scores. That's exactly what we want to call your attention to in D2 Coed in the Northeast. Let's take a look here in this top spot, Quest Athletics Bomb Squad, six events, 3,445 points. But right behind them in second place, Famous Superstars Vanity, 3,375 points from six events, but Vanity it's going to be heading to one up Grand Nationals this weekend. This is where they have the opportunity to take over that first place spot. A win for 600 points would allow them to replace a lower score of 400 points from earlier in the season. That could be enough for them to take over that first place spot. Now we're going to jump over to the Southeast and take a look at D1 Youth. Some more teams that could make a jump by dropping some of those lower points if they earn more this weekend. So D1 Youth in the Southeast in first place. It's ATA Neon, 3,475 points from six events. But we want to take a look down here at number five, Diamonds All-Stars Glitter Girls. They're in fifth with 3,300 points. Glitter Girls will be heading to 1UP Grand Nationals as well. Remember, this is a 600-point event, the last one of the season. They are currently behind first place by 175 points, but they can replace a 400 event with a 600-point event and still win D1 Youth in the Southeast. Another race we're gonna be keeping a close eye on this weekend. And finally, let's take a look now at the Midwest. This is the region where the big one-up Grand Nationals 600-point event will be taking place this weekend. We want to take a look now at D2 Junior and some teams that could be making a jump in the leaderboard standings. So let's take a look right now. HCA Gems, they've been doing pretty well this season. Two teams in the top two, Midnight and Black Magic, both of them have six events already. But we also want to really call your attention down here at sixth place, Aspire Cheer Academy Havoc. They have 3,140 points from six events. 
They're also going to be heading to one up Grand Nationals this weekend, but they could raise their score by 256 points if they win first place at one up this weekend. That would replace a lower score of 344 points from a third place finish earlier in the season. Again, another team a little bit lower in the standings that could leapfrog and take over that first place spot as we're getting ready to wrap up the season here. Also remember that once we hit April 9th, all teams in the top 25 of their regional race in the league, if they don't have a bid to the summit or their end of season events, they're gonna all receive an at-large bid. So keep your eyes glued to Varsity TV this weekend and the leaderboard standings on tv.varsity.com. We'll see who comes out on top. We have now reached our final weekend of events to earn points toward the League by Varsity All-Star. Let's take a look across the region to see who's going to finish out Season 2 strong. In the Midwest region for 600 points, we are going to have one up Grand Nationals, followed by the American Legacy Springfield Nationals for 500 points. And taking things over to the Southeast, also for 500 points, we have the NCAA Daytona Beach Classic. Out West for 400 points, we have the American Showcase. And rounding things out back to the southeast for 400 points is the Cheer Sport Concord Spring Classic. It's been an awesome season following all these teams as they've aimed to earn the highest points possible for season two of the league. But be sure to tune in this weekend to see who earns those final points and stay tuned to Varsity TV in the coming weeks as we reveal all these winners for season two of the League by Varsity All-Star presented by Corksicle.